Hello, this is an unboxing and review of the EasyTax car parking sensor. Some of the features mentioned on this box are double CPU, a testing function, a dis detecting distance of 0 to 2.5 meter, you have LCD screen, you have a noise and a voice indicator, and a volume control. So let's go ahead and unbox and take a look at it. Inside you have four different sensors that you will use to put in the back of your bumper of your car. You have the LCD panel. You also have the drill bit so that you can drill the hole for the sensor. And then finally you have the CPU that control the unit itself and you have some tapes. I have the radar sensor installed in the back of my bumper and now I will back up into my garage door and you can give you an idea of what it sounds like when it comes close. So here we go. As you get closer, it's saying right now you have 1.5 meter away from your door. I didn't find a way to change it to feet, it was just a meter. So as you get closer and closer, the number drop. And as you get closer and closer, the beep get louder and louder. As you get close to my garage door, I have about a feet from my garage door, and this is the beep you're getting. So I'm going to drive away from it now. As you can see, as you drive away from it, away from the obstacle, it's good again. So it can detect about two and a half meter, which is roughly about six feet, and anything less than that, anything more than that, it cannot detect, but anything less than that, it will pick up, as you see, again. From earlier, you can see that on each side there is an LED bar and that basically indicates how close the sensor is to the wall or whatever obstacle you are touching. When you have all four sensors on each side of your car in a bumper correctly, you will get this bar evenly. Overall, the EasyTech car parking sensor system works quite well. The installation is pretty straightforward but does require you to know a little bit of electrical and car knowledge. All you have to do is drill the hole, put the sensor into the hole on your bumper, and then run the four sensor cable onto the box. From the box you will run the LCD screen out from there and you also will get the power cable which you will tap into your brake light. So when you back into, when you're in reverse, your brake light will come on and during that time you will also get power to the unit itself. So that's the only time it will come on. You can also have it all the way on by hooking it directly to the AC system and have it on all the way but I didn't see a need for that. There are two things I wanted to point out. Uh, number one, the menu is just simple diagram to show you how to install the device. It is actually does not show you how to use it. It's, even though there's supposed to be a volume switch on the device, I did not find that anywhere on the box or the sensor. The other thing I want to mention was that this system is only in meter, so it's metrics only. There's no way to switch it to feet. So to keep that in mind when you are looking for this product. I hope this review helped you in your purchase decision. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, stay tuned for future review.